What's up, everyone? Welcome to another edition of Theron's Thoughts with Theron Shetty. These are my thoughts. We're back here, people. We're back here in Los Angeles. Does anybody really care? I don't think anybody really does care. It's okay, though. Um, I did come back late last night, and uh, the trip was hell. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm just... Does anybody ever get so sick of traveling? I barely travel, but when I do travel, I'm just like over it. True story. I got, in, got to LA, got into a cab, right? And finally reached my destination, my place. And the guy's like, oh, uh, the credit card thing doesn't work. It's like 60 bucks. So I was like, what do you want me to do? He's like, uh, we can go to an ATM. It's like one o'clock in the morning and this like Armenian guy's telling me to go to an ATM. I'm like, uh, I'm just gonna call my brother. I think he's, we're in the same building. And he's like, what's going on ATM? And I was like, ah, I don't think so. Uh, the guy was dead set on getting me to this ATM. And, uh, you know, warning bells were going off in my mind. And then I Googled it later. Uh, my brother did come down and he paid for it, whatever. And I Googled it later. And apparently, um, cabbies are not supposed to have... Um, broken credit card things in the car you you call the credit card you call the cab company and uh the guy was obviously trying to scam me probably wondering why i didn't call an uber and the reason is because the line was so big for an uber and it was like the same price so i was like oh the cab's right here that's why i got in the cab but if you get into a cab always ask them do you accept x payment because they can flip it on you i don't think he knew i was from la like i think he thought i was like some visitor so I was like, dude, uh, I'm just going to call my brother. He lives here. Uh, I'm from L.A. You know, it was just a weird situation to get into at one o'clock in the morning. And this is L.A. It's, like I said before, it's changed a lot from from before. I've never had a cabbie try to scam me or get me to an ATM that late at night. I mean, maybe uh, he had someone at the ATM. I, mean, I could have gotten robbed. Who knows? Um, but I definitely did not feel comfortable with drawing money that late at night in the city. So, welcome back, Theron. Welcome back to L.A. Uh, that's my my day so far. And I woke up and I started writing as always. Um, I do, I'll be honest with you, I kind of feel lost in the city now. This feels like a foreign city to me, even though I spent 15 years here. Um... When I used to live here, I had like a good circle of people around me. So even though you're in a foreign city, you accumulate. It's like you're surrounded by pillows, like from agents to friends. You just feel a little bit at ease. And I kind of feel like how it first felt when I moved to LA years ago. And I was just felt lost. It's kind of how I feel now because, I mean, honestly, my friends... I have friends here, but they're on the road pretty much. They're comedians and uh, I'm not represented. So why am I here? <laughs> You're probably wondering that. I'm asking myself that same question, but I do have uh, some really good friends here and uh, I feel like it's, it's a good spot to be in, uh, especially if I'm gonna be in Florida for the next few months. So that's what I'm doing here. I was meditating today and the one thought that kept coming back to me was, my voice is my currency, and I'm trying to just double down on that. I was like, well, let me just see where this goes, because that's where that's where I have a lot of movement. Whenever I try to follow that thread and just keep outputting material and try to do things that are intrinsically me, whether it's my stand-up, my writing, uh, filmmaking, I feel like I get some traction there. So that's what I'm doing here. It's kind of like being lost in space but you have like your jet pack and you just keep keep going right you just you don't stop you stop then you float away into the sun so you got to keep that jet pack moving i hope you guys have a great week thanks for watching we'll talk soon bye